Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Nobunaga's Ambition, Sphere of Influence, Sphere of Influence, Sphere of Influence, that would make more sense, I'm just I've uh, been away from the game for a couple of days, uh, but uh, had some interesting things come up in the comment. Um, somebody just kind of randomly showed up to tell me about their game, I think they started from this island and did some interesting things. Um, but somebody made the point, okay, somebody made the point. Hey, diplomacy. I might be able to force ceasefires if I have, like, high friendship with both the Oda and the, uh... See, I don't... Here's where I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I can do diplomacy between the Mitsudaira and the Oda because the Mitsudaira are subordinated to the Imagawa. Now, I have 100, uh, trust with the Imagawa. So I can start building trust with the Oda and see what happens. But somebody pointed out there's a long time before the events of uh, Okehazama will occur. So it might be better to start a new scenario anyway. The reason I'd like to try is because we can do a lot to really build up this area. We've already got fortresses going that aren't here. Uh, that won't be here if we start a new scenario because we built Wakamiko Castle. We can conquer quite a few things and put ourselves in a good position. Uh, but if we jump straight ahead to Okehazama Castle, we will be weaker than we are now. We won't hold uh, Hachiyoji Castle. We won't have built Wakamiko Castle. Uh, so what I'm saying is I'd like to see if we can find a way. It may involve playing a lot of domestic turns where I just skip through stuff very quickly. Um, and if we reach the point where it looks like I'm going to be able to keep the Oda intact long enough for those events to occur... Uh, maybe I'll throw it out there to, like, a fan vote. Do you guys want me to play off-screen until the Okahazama events are ready to trigger and just have a gap? Or play on-screen and have some... a lot of domestic stuff going on for quite a few videos in a row? Or skip ahead and, and you know, like, we'll do like we did in the Date. When we played as the Date, I started one scenario, got a bunch of historical events, then started a new scenario with the same officers. We actually lost cities. Because I had expanded further as the Date than, you know, would have otherwise happened. But we kind of cobbled together two scenarios for one playthrough that showed all the Date history and allowed the Date to unify the land. So we don't have to figure any of that out right now. Um, I guess I had used all of my labor, though, so I guess it's time to call it a turn. Oh, that's right. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually fighting in the middle of this. That was the other thing I forgot. I was all worried about all that stuff, but, uh, we are in the middle of taking over cities here. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna come to their rescue. Who is that, though? Somebody is marching somewhere. I know the, uh... Ah! Yeah, the Nagao are trying to take over Nagamune Ogasawara and, uh, Fukashi Castle. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I don't think they're going to be able to hold. It'd be nice if I could take that for myself, but I don't see a way. So I must have been attacking this castle because that's what the story wants, right? Or I just, I think that's what the story wants. They want me to take this castle. And then the story will advance. And I have to kind of, uh, they should have enough provisions. We were hit. Seems I have fallen ill. I'd better make some time to rest. I've obtained a field master trait. With this new power, I shall take this nation. Your orders? Templar. Reporting in. We have Takato Castle surrounded by 5,000 men. It's fall. It's but a matter of time. And I uh, just got a little Discord message I need to check. 
because depending on who it is okay never mind <laughs> I, I shouldn't even talk about it. There's uh, there's something Bobo and I had a chance to actually record something. And uh, he doesn't want to start making any of it public until we know we're going to have some more in the can. So every so often, like, he'll pop up and, and he's, like there's a chance for us to hop on together and, and record something together. Uh, whatever I'm doing gets dropped for that. I can record this any old time. Meanwhile, Kazuhiro says, I looked around to our castle but couldn't find anything. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest in the area. And uh, Mr. Takeda says he's super cool power man. All right. So quests. We are supposed to surround Takato Castle. Takato's camera is following us in slow mo. Elusive affiliation of millionaires and billionaires and baby. These are the days of lasers in the jungle. This is the long distance call. I'm probably getting the lyrics wrong. Uh, Alright, so we're about to take over Takato Castle, and that is the next plot thing. I don't think we have to take over Fukashi Castle, and I feel like when I was goofing around off screen, the Nagao took it eventually, but we want this castle. I, I really don't want the Nagao having any footholds uh, south of this area, because this is where the big plot battle of Kowakanajima is going to take place. And that's, apparently, historically, there were like four different battles that took place in the same area. Because where where I, where I the cursor is, I don't know why I'm jumping ahead of the story here. Like, in real history, this, this area here was kind of the spot that was between the areas of the two great rivals, Shingen and uh, uh, Kenshin Uesugi. And um, I, I don't want to have, like, I, I would like to have all the territory up to there, just because that's where plot shit's got to go down. And it'd be nice if I didn't have to worry about anybody who was, you know, being part of that stuff getting flanked. So if the Nagao take this over, uh, we have time, I think, to do all of our historical objectives. So we don't want to go crazy with wasting time because there's going to be a big gap between the historical objectives we have of conquering this region and uh, the later historical stuff that we can't get to trigger yet, like the Battle of Okahazama. But um, I don't want to, like, you know, speed rush to get the things that are plot required if we can take our time to get other stuff along the way and have, like, a firm, consolidated territory. Anyways, let's see. We have uh, base structures that can be built. That may or may not be a good use of our stuff. This is the only castle that's built everything it can. I really don't think Hachiyoji Castle... We've done what we can to make it as defensible as we can. It's got a decent hit, uh, hit point count, but I mean... If the Hojo really decided to press... I think other than having a decent amount of hit points... I mean, Oshi Castle is more. Couldn't see that one. Obviously, um, Uduar Castle is like crazy, but it's it's not normal for a castle to be as difficult to take as Oduar Castle is. <sighs> so uh, I don't really want to assume that we need to do anything with these. I guess I want this place to be building up pretty well. I don't really have the gold for this. Uh, what would you like? You can have anything you want except Arlo at Arlo's restaurant. I don't have a lot of food either. It's not a time to be selling food. I certainly can't afford to be buying food.
Let us enact a policy. We've enacted laws of the Takana. Which is, uh... Increasing... See, officer loyalty and militia increases. It's, it's speeding our craft development. But overall, it's, uh, it is good. And law of the Takata is like the special policy we can do because we're the Takata, of course. If that wasn't apparent. Uh, fee for sure. So officer's loyalty increases, population increases quickly. Alright, we wanted that and we've got it. So... Let's let everyone know. That should have an immediate impact on our officer loyalty, actually. So we have uh, Yoji Bayashu, Mr. Progressive. Mr. Uh, Kids aren't being killed by drag queen story hour. They're being killed by guns. He's right, but he's, he's irritating about it. Anyway, he is, his loyalty is 19, his required loyalty is 15. Shows discontent on occasion, seems to hold slight dissatisfaction. He used to be openly defiant, but now he's honored to have been made lord of a castle. He treasures what he receives. He thinks he'll get along well with his master. He can agree with his master's way of doing things. His liege or not, but he have different views of the nation. Um, so maybe the... Maybe we're getting a plus two to, uh, I agree with my way, master's way of doing things because we have FIFA assurance and Laws of the Takata. I don't know that Laws of the Takata will get its own loyalty modifier descriptor because it's only one force can do it. So it might just plus one to the modifier, which is the generic one you get if you've got like FIFA assurance. Because any clan can have FIFA assurance if they have the right conservative progressive score. So eventually his loyalty will max out only when he's been with the clan long enough to get the I am proud to be a veteran of the clan thing. Um, but yeah, like the second least loyal guy is Grimmoth Reaper. Whose loyalty is maxed. Uh, because he likes his treasure better. <laughs> but he's got the same, like, you know, plus two for... Uh, same kind of world. Plus two for... Master's way of doing things. He just, he likes his treasure. He's got a plus four treasure. He's got a plus eight. But yeah, everybody's, everybody's happy with the force. We shouldn't be seeing any more. It's, it, nobody defected, but we won't be seeing any more like they've been conspiring with someone. Be careful marching them. Like that, that should pretty much go away. So that's all of our labor used. Um, to do development. And uh, I think that's for the best. We don't have a lot of money. So let's save our money. But somebody... I hate to use Grimoth on this because he's so useful for building up castles. So someone else would have to be the uh, someone else would have to be the overseer of uh, Wakamiko Castle. Well, if we're not constructing anything in the short term, it'll be okay. We really don't have anyone near as good as Grimoth, though. All right, let Uncle Baldo, uh, Elder Uncle Baldo can take over for Grimoth. And um, just because he literally goes for plus four, that's a 25, that's a, uh, that wouldn't be a 25% increase, that would be a 33% increase. Uh, so it is worth doing.
They might accept it, but I can't imagine much of an impact. Well, it'll change him from hostile to friendly. I think that might affect... Let's try it. I think that will affect how much... Uh... Get the star point horse of the Yoda clan. That, that might affect how quickly we can build our stuff up to 100. I'm hoping that's how it will work. So we have, like, no money left. Um, we've got expensive policies going. This is potentially problematic. So we might need to just finish this conquest and then slow down for a while. Because I can't be selling food to make money and also marching around doing battle. People are the castles. People are the stone walls. Fast as fire, windy as wind, whatever. I have taken Takato Castle. Remember, it is not a castle that protects the land, but the people. Capture Takato Castle accomplished. Now we have to capture Toichi Castle. Now that the Takata clan had taken Takato Castle, the only enemy standing between them and having control of Shinano was the Murakami clan. Lord Harunobu, before we attack Toishi Castle, there's someone this one would like to introduce to you to Oh, it's not often you recommend someone to me. Show them in. Yes, sir. Yukitaki Sarada. It is an honor to be in your presence. My name is Yukitaki Sarada. I used to belong to the House of Uno. But when they fell in battle, I escaped to Ueno. I used to be evil Uno, but then I decided the Dark Order was really stupid. I see. So Toishi is your homeland. Indeed. This one would like to request that the Takata clan help in restoring the Sanada clan, their ancestral land. If it's a request from Konsuki himself, I can't turn it down. You have my gratitude! However, it would be rude of me to request your aid without offering anything in return. I need to come up with a voice for him. He's going to be kind of important. Um, but, you know, the Sonnet over just kind of dudes. I guess I'll make him talk like the old like the old officers from Samurai Warriors too. You have my gratitude. However, it would be rude of me to request your aid without offering anything in return. I see you come prepared. I would expect no less from an acquaintance of Konsuke. Please leave the assault of Toishi Castle to us. All I ask is that you lend us some troops. Can you really take the castle on your own? We expect it to be a tough battle. I can handle it. Allow me to show you how the sign of the clan wait its war. So we're going home because we're out of food. Um, and the castle we need to take next for the story, I believe, is one of these three. Yeah. So, like, I don't really know. Like, what happens if you surround this one but don't surround these ones? Uh, I kind of forget. But if we take the Sanada guy with us, plot stuff will trigger. So we do want to take the, the Sanada guy with us. Meanwhile, it does look like Fukashi Castle really has no prayer. So the most important thing for us to sort out with this quest is... How long have we got to complete it? Um, March 1551. And we are in 1539. So we have over 10 years. Which would be... I mean, each turn is a month. So we got like 120 turns to do this. I don't think we need to rush. Um, if you find yourself trying to take Toishi Castle, don't rush. So yeah, Lethal has, has sort of beat it into me with, uh, recently. That that reference is to Let's Play um, Tecmo Secret of the Stars, my very first Let's Play. Uh, technically incompetent from a like you know recording software point of view, but still I think one of my funnier Let's Plays overall. If you have to. Pick. I was a young 
dewy-eyed, fresh, innocent Let's Player. That's before the world had worn me down. Oda Clan seems to have commented on our gift. I... I had been searching for something like this, truth be told. So they're now friendly with us. Let us begin the meeting. Here's last month's balance. Okay. Here's the problem now. Our policy expense is so much higher than it had ever been before. Uh, I need to think about whether there's anything we can drop. Because it's going to make it really difficult to earn any money. Reporting in. His training's paid off. He's grown up. He's awesome. So it's the best thing that ever happened to this force, baby. All right. So, yeah, this seems like it would be a pretty good castle. By, by uh, the standards of us with all these mountain castles, this one looks like it has some territory around it that would be useful to own. Meanwhile, as far as troop counts go, 800 troops, 1,500 troops, and nine. Wow, this must, have been a, this must have been a much more impressive castle than this one when we took it over. But it's got no officers, and it pretty clearly is going to need some. So, we might want to start moving um, some of these good officers out of here. Bobo. With his, uh... He's only got 80... Wait, 80 until... Oh, that's his experience. Yeah, he's got 50 pull, 95 valor, 95 leader. Oh, never mind, that's... that. His intelligence is super high, but that's because it's like he's close to getting from 80 to 81 for whatever reason. So, um... What we might want to do is move Hamuku Arisato and Vulture Bobo because this place tends to not really need to do anything as far as uh... yeah it's really close to maxing out there's not a whole lot to be done here Have uh, Jaxer's Baldo do this. So I think we could have we could give ourselves uh, Lord Bobo, who's already. Uh, like, nobody needs the the boost. The only person whose loyalty is still orange. Um, you know, the progressive uh, <laughs> the progressive guy who goes around selling you insurance. He is, uh, he is already a castle lord. So, at this point, I don't need to worry about making castle lords out of people who are going to need the loyalty boost. We can just send Bobo up there. So, come along, Bobo. Um... And, uh, Hamuko Arisato. And let's put one more person up here. Oh, wow. I got all those people at Tsuji Kasaki. One of them has to be. We just need somebody with, like, middling, decent pull. Got a bunch of people with fantastic pull here. I wish I could see the portrait. Because I want to make sure I'm not accidentally sending a plot person I didn't mean to. So Noruharu Baba. 
Giant Baba, huh? Oh yeah, we can send him. He doesn't have any plot stuff he's involved in. He's like an officer of some fame in history, I think, but he's not somebody that we can't... There's no, like, story events that are going to fail to trigger because he's not hanging around in, uh, Tsutsuji Saki Palace. Suwahime might be a good choice, so she's got... She's got fairly middling stats, so that's right. I was like, why aren't they listed the same way? Because I sorted by poll. So, uh... Let us enact a policy. The canal improvement, gold income decreases, harvest increases. I don't want to take that away, because the longer it's been in effect, the better it is. Beef assurance, does population increase, so I kind of don't want to lose it. I've only got three policies. But this one costs 1080. This one costs 540. And this one costs 540. So together they are 20, 260. That's not crazy amount of gold. It's just that it's early in the game for me to have this many policies. So... Everybody concentrates on crafts. Craft singles. This is doing it with no overseer. Making me wonder if there's someplace else I could be doing it instead. Oh, every place is doing it. I have enough order for every place to do it this turn. So even the place with only a uh, generic overseer, man. And uh, I don't want to spend gold on anything else because we don't have the gold to spend, so... Oh, I forgot to check and see if uh, Grimmeth will be able to get uh, trust up better because they're friendly now. So Nagao clan eliminated that. That city was the only base that clown had. Clown? Clan. That clan only had one base, so they are now wiped out. Mazu clan is doing stuff. Otis trust has reached 20. Okay, yeah, so for sure, giving them that treasure made a difference. This guy's dead, so this was not, so not even my life is enough to claim this nation. Can't say that's too shocking, unfortunately. He was the, I think he was the leader of the Suwa, who sort of was forced to join us when we conquered the Suwa, but, like, we got the message that he wasn't feeling well, and he's old dude, so I don't want to sound nasty, but yeah, that's not, that's not shocking. For orders, Templar. here's last month's balance. Uh, oof. We're losing money. Very slowly. Well, we're going to have to hold out until the harvest comes. Reporting in. She found a hidden path, specialty, and other resources. Oh, cool, cool. That's, that's pretty good. Info. It has three districts, no mines, no ports. Three specialties. Interesting. But stupid. Hmm. Well, how much does each of these cost? We can build a special fair, provides gold income and population increases, or provides gold income mix adjacent districts suitable for crafts. Well, this is a craft district. So 
So we could go from population 48 to 67. Uh, with in income is already at 75. So all we're actually buying is the population increase. Oh, and that's all the gold we've got too, though. We can't afford to do any of this. I hate being in this position, but we actually can't afford to... Um, we can't afford to do any of these developments until we get to harvest season. So we're just going to have to sit on it. This is breaking my heart, but we're going to uh, delay domestic improvements. Maybe I'll find a way to deal with it next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. And I forgot to be in a position to stop the video before I started outdooring. So now I am ready to stop the video. Bye-bye.